Alright, boys. Are you ready to learn how to reskin your portal gun? Alright, of course you are. Alright. <clears throat> now, before doing this, you're gonna need these two programs, because they're pretty cool programs that you gotta use. Now, most people have their Portal 2 folder in the C drive. I personally don't, so we're not gonna use that. But just go to Steam Apps, Common, Portal 2, whatever. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, and you're gonna keep this folder open for later, because we're gonna use it a little bit. Um, we're gonna make a folder on this desktop, desktop and call it pack01 underscore dir, and then make another one pack underscore dir backup, or whatever the fuck you wanna call it. Alright, now into files, right? So from the Portal 2 folder, we go to Portal 2, huh? And then you open up the pack01 underscore dir folder file. Now, what really sucks is you can't just put anything into this file, right? It's impossible to put anything into VPK files, which really sucks. It would make life a lot easier. But, you can make your own folder and try to replace them, which is why we have that on the desktop. Alright? Alright, now. Alright, now you can try to save all these files onto the one backup folder, uh, but th that kind of crashes the, uh, the program. Now, what I do is that I only really want to work with the portal gun. You can try to find it. It's anything. It's usually materials, models, and somewhere in there you'll find a texture file that you probably want to edit. But we're going to do the portal gun. So we're going to follow this path, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That drag it over, plonk it down. There you go. But we are going to have to have the files in order. So we're going to go back, get every one of those, add them all. And make that perfect just the same except without all the extra files all right and right before the next part you're going to want to copy everything from your backup folder and just transfer it to your to the folder right next to it now we open it boom just look at that that's a portal gun so we export that to whatever you want to export it to you can export it to desktop for all i care save it as jpeg don't do it as png because that kind of makes it see-through for some that magical reason all right Open that with whatever editing software software you want it open it with, you know, a little add a little spice and save. And then we open up any VTD edit program or any VTF file, import, find your image, save it in your Paco one underscore dir folder, and replace the old portal or whatever the old file. All right. Now that we have it replaced, we can put it in the game. First, we go to Portal 2, bin, then scroll down to vpk.exe. Alright, easy as that. Now take pack one underscore dir folder and plop that into vpk. And within a few seconds, kabam! Now you have a v vpk folder. Alright, now we're not going to put that in the Portal 2 folder. The lower. Now we're not going to put that in the Portal 2 folder. We're going to put that in the Portal 2 folder in the bin folder. Alright, now, a couple of clicks, a lot of bing, a lot of boom, that is how you get some texture files in your Portal 2 game, lovely. Look, this didn't take seven minutes and I didn't just read the readme file. Why is that the most popular video for searching how to make Portal 2 skins? That's so fucking stupid, he's just, he didn't even explain how to do it, he just showed you how to install things, which the readme file always shows you. It's so fucking stupid. 